morning everyone today i'm going to talk about lymphocytic infiltrate of jessner's if you guys are new to my channel my name is dr namra aziz i am resident dermatology don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications you can also follow me on instagram at dr namra aziz Jessner's lymphocytic infiltrate also called as benign lymphocytic infiltration of the skin is a rare benign dermatosis with a self limiting course and excellent prognosis it typically presents as erythematous papules and plaques primarily located on the face neck or upper back however since the original description the existence of the jessner's lymphocytic infiltrate as a distinct disease has been questioned The list of disorders that overlap clinically and histologically with Jessner's lymphocytic infiltrate is vast, indicating that Jessner's lymphocytic infiltrate is probably not a separate entity but rather a clinico-pathological reaction pattern common to the different diseases. Some authors believe it as a variant of either lupus erythematosus, primarily Ehlers tumidus, or polymorphic light eruption. and some consider it to be a form of cutaneous lymphoid hyperplasia pseudo lymphoma there are cases of co-occurrence with lupus erythematosus and with polymorphic light eruption while in europe it has been associated with borrelia burgdorferi infection some cases of jessner's lymphocytic infiltrate have been associated with the drugs and familial cases have also been reported Cutaneous lesions appear primarily on the head, neck and upper back as one or several asymptomatic erythematous papule plaques and less commonly nodules with an absence of secondary epidermal changes such as scale. Annular plaques with a central clearing are commonly observed and individual lesions last several weeks to months. There are no associated systemic manifestations although spontaneous resolution occurs recurrences are common. What will you see on histopathology? The epidermis is unremarkable with little evidence of interface dermatitis. There is superficial and deep primarily perivascular lymphocytic infiltrate that may surround the hair follicles. A mild increase in the dermal mucin may be seen. This infiltrate has been identified by immunohistochemistry as mixed T cell infiltrate with a predominance of CD8 positive lymphocyte and with a few CD4 positive cells and B cells. Small clusters of plasmacytoid dendritic cells CD123 positive have also been described in Jester's lymphocytic infiltrate. T cell receptor gene rearrangement analysis demonstrates a polyclonal T cell population in the majority of the cases. Direct immunofluorescence is negative. Differential diagnoses include the plaque form of polymorphic light eruption, lupus erythematosus tumidus, reticular erythematous mucinosis, cutaneous lymphoid hyperplasia cutaneous lymphoma and granuloma facial polymorphic light eruption is associated with sun exposure lesions are photo distributed and usually there is a self limited clinical course histology like jessner's lymphocytic infiltrate there is superficial and deep perivascular lymphocytic infiltrate which is predominantly composed of t cells but there is papillary dermal edema interface changes and usually there are no clusters of cd123 positive plasmacytoid dendritic cells for some patient photo testing may provide additional helpful information sub acute and chronic lupus erythematosus are distinguished by the presence of secondary changes including scale follicular plugging and central hypopigmentation along with the interface changes histologically Because interface changes are sparse if present at all in Ehlers tumidus distinction from the Jessner's lymphocytic infiltrate may prove impossible The lesions in Ehlers tumidus are photo induced predominantly present on the face upper trunk and are erythematous urticarial lesions which are often figurate There are no surface changes and scarring is not present just like Jessner's lymphocytic infiltrate Histology is pretty much similar to Jester's lymphocytic infiltrate with superficial and deep perivascular and periadenoxal lymphocytic infiltrate. Mucin deposits are present between the collagen bundles. Systemic involvement is also unusual in tumid Ehlers. All of these things make it difficult or almost impossible to differentiate Jester's lymphocytic infiltrate from the tumid Ehlers. Direct immunofluorescence in tumid lupus erythematosus is often negative or non-specific but when it is positive it has a characteristic granular immunoglobulin IgG or immunoglobulin IgM deposition at the dermal epidermal junction and around the hair follicle 
a minority of the patients with LE tumidus may have a positive test for anti-nuclear antibodies. Reticular erythematous mucinosis, which is considered by some as synonym with lupus erythematosus tumidus, has abundant dermal mucin. Cutaneous lymphomas can have significant clinical and histopathological overlap with lymphocytic infiltrate of gestners. If the dermal lymphocytic infiltrate is extensive, immunophenotypic analysis may help to distinguish between these two entities. Although individual lesions of borderline lepromatous leprosy may resemble lymphocytic infiltrate of gestners, these patients have a greater number of widespread lesions. Pseudolymphoma may follow arthropod bites or can be drug-induced. The lesions are often more nodular. On histology, they are nodular or diffuse mixed cellular infiltrate throughout the entire dermis, often with the formation of the lymphoid follicles. In contrast, in Gestner's lymphocytic infiltrate, the infiltrate is predominantly perivascular and reactive B cell follicles are absent. Granuloma facial is a rare inflammatory disorder of the skin presenting as red brown or violaceous papules, plaques, or nodules most commonly located on the face. Histological examination reveals a mixed infiltrate in the dermis with neutrophils, eosinophils, histiocytes, and plasma cells. The histology of granuloma facial is characterized by a diffuse polymorphous inflammatory infiltrate involving primarily the upper half of the dermis. Occasionally, inflammation extends into the deep reticular dermis and subcutaneous tissue. The inflammatory infiltrate consists of neutrophils, eosinophils, lymphocytes, histiocytes, and plasma cells. In some cases, eosinophils are few in number or absent. A thin zone of uninvolved papillary dermis separating the epidermis from the inflammatory infiltrate is frequently seen, but not always present, but not always present in the tissue specimen from granuloma facial. Granuloma facial represents a form of cutaneous small vessel vasculitis and frequent histological finding of vascular damage are seen. Serological testing for SLE should be done in patients with Gestner's lymphocytic infiltrate. These include ANA, ESR, anti-Rho and anti-LA antibodies. Full blood count and urine analysis should also be done. Treatments are often unsatisfactory and based upon case reports. It may require no treatment if it is asymptomatic. Cosmetic co camouflage, excision of small lesions, photoprotection and topical or intralesional steroids Topical calcineurin inhibitors may provide beneficial effects. Hydroxychloroquine, systemic corticosteroids, and cryotherapy have been used with success. There are reports of benefits with methotrexate and oral oranofen. There is one randomized double-blind crossover study comparing thalidomide with placebo in 27 patients. 59% patients remain in remission after one month after stopping the treatment. Clearing of lesion has also been reported with pulse dyed laser and photodynamic therapy. Just as lymphocytic infiltrate is a benign self-limiting disorder with excellent prognosis, however, given its prolonged course, sometimes years, and the controversy surrounding the Gestner's lymphocytic infiltrate diagnosis, a semi-annual re-evaluation with repeated biopsies and laboratory tests as needed is appropriate for most patients. Thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notification. You can also follow me on Instagram at Dr. Namra Aziz.